everyone! Today is World Environment Day on June 5th. And a few months ago, we also celebrated Earth Day with a theme of restoring our Earth. Now, I've been studying many ancient civilizations, be it Mayan, Japanese, Indian, Greek, Roman, Jewish, etc. And I've learned that they have some common themes. They all respect the elements of nature, be it mountain, trees, or even rivers. And they also respect animals with the same integrity as human beings. Now, during the pandemic, we faced a lot of stress and a lot of the aspects have been very, very sad. We've lost so many, but we also have some benefactors of the virus. We've learned to integrate technology more and more in our lives. Now, during the pandemic, we have learned a thing or two from these civilizations. So in the US, we've started hugging cows and elephants for relieving stress and promoting better mental health. Now, I've noticed that children from a very young age have started to develop a fear of animals around us. And we have to start bringing in this respect of animals from day one, either be it in school or even at home. I've seen that many civilizations even worship insects and animals. I know that some civilizations give ants food and others also look at grass like a god. Now, we may all think, well, what's the point? It's just grass. But I find it completely amazing and beautiful. But that's what they do. I've also learned that New Zealand officially declared one of its rivers as a real living thing. And India soon followed and declared the river Ganges to be a living thing. Anyone who pollutes the river is doing something wrong to a real living creature. We have to think about that for a second. I've also been looking at the SDGs and I study them very deeply. And this is all what the SDGs are about. SDG number 13, climate action, along with SDG number 4, quality education, covers these topics. I've said more at my TEDx at HU Berlin as well. So stay safe, stay healthy, and happy World Environment Day. Thank you.